Hi there. Today we're going to be having a look at the Quora Hub M3. Now this has been out for a year now and I thought I'd give it a review now so that we could have a look at what has perhaps changed since the initial release of this product. I watched lots of people's videos talking about this product and people were raving about some really good stuff and other people had some real concerns. So I'm going to tell you what I really like about it and I'm going to tell you some of the things that I couldn't get working. The first thing that I really liked about it was being able to unplug the internet and have automations running completely locally. The second thing was being able to hook up my heat pump via infrared to the hub and then use Home Assistant to control it via Matter. The main problem that I found was that even though this is a Matter enabled hub and it's a year down the line, I was still not even able to connect to the most basic Matter switches that I had. So looking at the features of this device, it's a multi-protocol hub with Matter Bridge functionality. So it's able to connect to the Zigbee Aquara devices and then share them via Matter over to a system like Home Assistant. Secondly, it's got edge capabilities and local automations. So you can set up automations within the device like the one I'm gonna show you using a door and window sensor and creating an action like playing a sound. Thirdly, it's got the IR blaster and I'm gonna show you how this works with the air conditioning system in my home. It connects either via 2.4 or 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi and then has a PoE port so you can both power and connect it with a hardwired facility, which is really cool. On the privacy side, they focused on avoiding having any cameras or microphones on this device and it had 8 gigs of eMMC storage, which is used for secure data handling. This device includes multiple radios, including Wi-Fi, Zigbee, Bluetooth and Thread, as well as the IR Blaster. Up to 127 Thread or Zigbee devices can be connected at once. The edge computing in this device means that it can manage multiple hubs below it and then multiple devices connected to each one of those hubs. It also offers a system where certain Aquara devices can communicate directly even when the hub automation goes down. Now unfortunately I wasn't able to attest this because I didn't have any of the required Aquara devices. Aquara states that the following matter devices can be connected. Contact sensors, occupancy sensors, light sensors, lights, dimmable as well, as well as RGB, dimmers, on-off wall switches, thermostats, on-off plug outlets. So let's have a look what we get in the box. First of all, the casing feels a really nice quality plastic. On the top side over here, we've got our status LED. On the underside, we've got our Ethernet and our USB-C port. Now, these are quite close together, so I would suggest that if you're going to use Ethernet, I would definitely go with power over Ethernet because it's very difficult to get the USB to go in there on top of the Ethernet. Um, on the back side or the front side, whatever this is, we've got our pairing button and our, um, our pairing code. And then the rest of it is pretty much on over here. Just by the way, these are where you've got your infrared um, emitters. So they're apparently all around the top side of this device so that you can get a nice broad sort of a surround. With that, we've got a USB-C cable. There's no power brick. And then we have this mounting bracket. So this can obviously be used to mount this device up against the wall and we get some mounting screws as well. So in order to add the hub to the Aquara app, we go the plus button, we go add accessory and the best way to do it here is to go down and select the device manually over here and we will say that the yellow light is blinking. We go next step and now all we do is we come along and we scan our code over here. So we're saying it's on a Wi-Fi connection. Next, uh, we've got the Dynalink and we put our password in earlier. So I'll just go next step. Wi-Fi connecting. And there we go. You can hear it to tell us it's connecting. There we go. It's all bound. 
and we can go next, uh, next, next, and there we go. Our hub is all connected. Adding the hub to Home Assistant is pretty straightforward. We've got two ways we can either use Meta or HomeKit. So we can select Meta, get our Meta pairing code. We'll copy that. Then we go over to our Home Assistant, uh, Devices and Services, Add Integration, Add Meta Device. No, it's new. Let's try that. And we'll go down um, and we'll go More Options. And there it is, it's actually showing up already. So we'll just go add hub. We select to paste our code in like that. Continue. Okay, adding to Home Assistant. And there we go. We have it connected via Meta. So now I wanted to start adding devices to the hub. So first I try to add my air conditioner. We just select the brand. So I've got a Panasonic. So I just typed in there Pana, and there we go. There's the Panasonic, not Panasomio, but Panasonic. Then it says confirm. So now it's telling me to press the remote control of the heat pump to turn it on. The problem is the remote control for my heat pump was broken. So I found a way to overcome this. So I waited for this little timeout to happen. So now what it's doing, it's actually going to some presets. So what I did here was I selected the first one. I tried pressing that. I had no response. So I said no. I selected the next option. It says, is there a response? I said no. Third option, once again, there was no response. But on the fourth response, it turned my air conditioner on. So I said yes. I then pressed the button again to turn it off. It worked again. And now it says set it to cooling 26 degrees auto. Press the button and there was a response. And there we go. It's all working perfectly now. Now next I wanted to try adding some Matter devices. So I had a six gang Matter light switch from Zemismart, which I tried it to add, connected it up, scanned the code, and it just went connecting, connecting, connecting. And then it said, start accessing the network. I said, no, it's a new device started connecting, tried to connect, tried connect. It says add to the Acquirer Hub. It goes connecting, it goes setting up. So it gets all the way along this and then all of a sudden it just failed. And any of the Matter devices that I tried would not connect. So I must admit I found this hugely frustrating because this seems to be the whole idea of Matter that any device will connect to any hub. So next I'm going to add an Acquira Zigbee device. Now, unfortunately you can't add other Zigbee devices. It is limited to Acquira Zigbee devices. So we go add device and I'm going to go and I'm gonna add a sensor and I'm going to add a Acquira door and window sensor. So there we go. And I'm going to add it via the hub. There we go, so it's ready for the accessory. So now I take my Acquira door and window sensor, I hold in the little button over here, let it start flashing. There we go, it's all connected. So that was pretty painless. We go next, we go done, and there's our door and window sensor, all connected. So having a look at automations here inside, we can click onto the automation section. So I've created a really simple little awesome automation. If my door and window sensor is open, start the ringtone on my doorbell cam ringing device and it starts that at 40 volume. And if I close it, then stop the ringtone. So really simple automation. And what I've done is set that and then I unplug the internet and I can show you how it's working when it's totally local. So overall, I think the hardware on this device has got a lot of opportunity. I like the fact that it's got power over Ethernet. I love the way that it's able to perform local automations without any connection to the internet. And I really enjoy the infrared capabilities for controlling my heat pump. However, for me, it was a bit disappointing that even a year later, we're still not able to connect to basic switches via matter. So let's see what Aquara can bring us in the future with this device. And that's all for now. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, 
please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.